Crown Heights is where the Rebbe said people should live. But at what price? I don't see myself as a chassid of the caliber that can tell people what to do and uh, inspire in people's sacrifice. I, I can tell you my thoughts, but the, the initiative of a person or the desire of a person to live here has to be his own, not somebody else's. Let me explain what Kan Siva Hashem Zabracha means. I, I want to preface by saying that Kan Siva Hashem Zabracha is before my time. In other words, this whole passion of the Rebbe about Crown Heights is the late 60s, early 70s. I was four, five, six years old. I have no recollection. I don't remember it at all. But I grew up with it. Here's how I would understand the statement Kan Siva Hashem Zabracha. And it, it, it ties into so many other things. There is a physical world, which is very real to us. And there is a spiritual world, which is the world of Hashem, it's the world of the Torah, it's the world of Ruchnis, it's the world of Alakus. In every aspect of our life, we face a choice of preferring the physical or the spiritual. To concern yourself with what is obviously advantageous on a material level, on a practical level, on a logical level, or to engage in something which is based on a spiritual principle that doesn't show its advantage right here, right now. I'm going to give you a very good example. A yid came to the Rebbe by dollars 25 years ago. It's amazing how unbelievably prophetic it was. And he was representing Israeli bonds in the United States of America. And he came to the Rebbe and said, people don't want to buy Israeli bonds, the economy is not good, what should I do? And the Rebbe said, and he asked him for a bracha. And the bracha the Rebbe gave him was very wonderful. The Rebbe said, I'm giving you a bracha that you should choose your pitch when selling Israeli bonds that the best investment a human being can make economically is to invest in the Holy Land, in Israel. So the Rebbe didn't say, I am giving you a blessing that you should sell many bonds. I'm giving you a blessing that you should sell the bonds based on the principle of the best place to invest is Israel. Now, of course, anybody who had listened to the Rebbe 25 years ago and invested in Israel found out that that was actually a real blessing. It wasn't just a nice thing to say because the fact of the matter is, Israeli's economy is doing very well. So what's going on here? The Rebbe says to a Jew, listen, we all understand there's a spiritual and there's a material, and they don't always match. I'm giving you a bracha that you should have the courage to look at your reality not only based on dollars and cents on a physical level, but you should look at your reality how the dollars and cents on the physical level are aligned with the spiritual reality, and then you'll have access to much greater opportunity because it's a spiritual basis for the material bracha. It's a fantastic Exchange. You have to look at the video. It's a couple of seconds. The Rebbe I'm giving you a bracha that you should go in this line. In other words, he didn't give him a bracha to sell a lot of bonds. He gave him a bracha that he should have the courage to sell the bonds on a totally religious basis, which is, of course, economically foolish. But the Rebbe is not economically foolish at all. Because the whole Rebbe, the whole Hasidist, the whole Yiddish guide, is about the alignment between heaven and earth. And the same is true, Kan Tzi Vashem Zabracha. Kan Tzi Vashem Zabracha is a koyach that the Rebbe invested in Crown Heights based on the fact that the Rebbe lived here and the Friedrich Rebbe lived here. That says what? It's spiritually blessed. Spiritual blessings are very wonderful if you live in Atzilas. It takes a unique kind of appreciation to see that when you embrace the spiritual blessing of Kan Tzi Vayas Abracha, it shows itself in a material blessing. But you got to, so to speak, make the leap. You need to be able to trust that the Rebbe, whose whole purpose on this earth was to link the spiritual and the material in a way that you even see it materially, but that you have to first trust the spiritual and then the blessing will show itself, is the issue that's on the table when you talk about Kan Siva Hashem you're tapping into a ruchni is bracha, expecting to extract a material bracha. You have to trust. And of course, 
the nature of the cynic, and every one of us has a cynic within ourselves, is to laugh at it and say, what does this have to do with the price of tea in China? This is Atsilos. But no, the whole Rebbe is about the fact that there's a relationship to Ruch Nis and Gashmir. And the fact of the matter is that Grand Heights is a very blessed place. There are many, many Yidin who've made an awful lot of money who got to Ola <laughs> Um, there's an enormous amount of bracha in this community, and there's no question these brachas come from the Rebbe's koiches. And the more we celebrate the ruchnius of Kansiva Shemesa bracha, the more clear the relationship between the ruach and the yeshem will be.